They're all in line. And they're off and racing. Breaking for the lead in the center of the track. It's going to be powerful Phil inside Smudge the Cat. CC's Kitten down along the rail. Now moves through and takes second. Moving into fourth is Master, followed by Leoville. Then a gap of another four or five. Back to Study Long. Study Wrong. It's going to be a battle up front. CC's Kitten's on the inside and powerful Phil on the outside. These two stride for stride and clear by three lengths over Smudge the Cat. Master back racing in the fourth position. And then we go back another length on the inside. Moving through Leoville now gaining stride. He's all the way up up in the fourth and now taking third as they head around the turn master is the trailer opening quarter 22 flat cc's kitten with the lead second on the outside powerful phil the favorite leoville now coming is about the split horses and it's got his sight set on the leader back down along the inside is going to be racing in fourth smudge the cat but right now leoville is taken off he's clear by two Trying to get to CeCe's Kitten. CeCe's Kitten on the lead. Leoville on the outside. Can't get there. CeCe's Kitten's got something in the tank and holds off Leoville. Back in third was study long, study hard. And they're off and racing in the second. Out for the early lead on the far outside, Mr. 11th Hour, joined by Felon to the inside. And then we drop back another length on the move. Here comes Roberto's ticket up into third. Two more on the rail to Scobie. Trying to squeeze inside of Ugly Duckling and gets through. There on the outside, Wappity Way. And the early trailer is going to be Brevet Officer. They head towards the quarter. Mr. 11th Hour, Rocco Bowen in town again tonight. Does the quarter in 22 and 4. He's got it by three parts of a length. Roberto's ticket is right there second. Along the rail third is Scobie. He's joined on the outside fourth by Felon. Then we drop back another two lengths sitting in the fifth spot. On the outside is going to be Wappity Way. And then the trailer is Brevet Officer. As they arrive at the top of the stretch, it's still Mr. 11th Hour on the lead. It's 6 to 1. Trying to get to the finish line. On the inside, Scobie looking for racing room alongside Ugly Ducking now making a move on the outside and Pablo Morales has Ugly Duckling moving the best of the bunch he gets ahead in front and will defeat Mr. 11th Hour as they head home here in the second at Presque Isle Downs up for third is Brevet Officer and a very tight photo for fourth either Wappity Way on the outside or Scoby on the inside winning time 109 and 3 they're in they're off on the inside. Not a cat, but a car grabs the early lead up on the outside. Now in between horses taking the lead as they're racing down the backside. On the inside, it's Rio Abajo with the lead. Racing third down the backside is Kick Kick Hustle. Racing on the inside, up this inside route comes not a cat, but a card as they race into the turn. On top of the field, it's Rio Abajo with the lead. On the outside, it's Stevis Man going the long distance on the outside. Now sticks the nose in front. Stevis Man has the lead. Back on the inside comes Rio Abajo, racing second. Now back on top of the field. Here comes closing with a rush. Kick, kick, hustle. Less than a quarter to go. The end of the stretch, they come. Kick, kick, hustle on the outside. Stevis Man in between horses down along the rail. Rio Abajo closing late on the outside. Kick, kick, Hustle coming to the wire on top of the field on the outside comes Unflappable Max in between horses. Kick, kick, hustle with a late surge. Not a cat, but a card, but a photo all the way for win. They're in the gate. And they're off and racing. Off a beat slow was Baby No Worries, rushing out for the early advantage. There goes Song Teller along with Ebb Tide to the far outside, rushing through from the rail. There goes Lady in Hills and Scott Spieth up to take a short lead over Song Teller. Sitting back in third outside, Ebb Tide. Triple R rated joins that group in fourth. Another length and a half back to Sweet Duchess. Then another length to Heideke. Then Baby No Worries trying to gain momentum on the outside. The early trailer's sister post followed by Endless. The quarter, 21 and 4 fifth seconds. And on the lead, it is Lady in Heels. Scott Speeth at 21 to 1. The favorite right alongside. Here comes Ebb Tide and Rocco Bowen. Looking him in the eye and going to take a lead up coming out of the turn. Right behind him, though. 
Sweet Dutch is making a move. Song Teller is there in between horses. And Baby No Worries after that slow start looks for racing room. Mario Pino will have to swing five wide on the outside if he's going to get the Lady Heels. Lady in Hills still with the lead. It's going to be Ebb Tide. Ebb Tide taking over on the advantage. Sweet Dutch just moves to be second. Upside side in third. Baby No Worries. But Ebb Tide will not disappoint as the favorite. Going to be tight here for the place position. Photo finish looked like. Sweet Duchess just held on up over Baby No Worries. Another photo for fourth between Song Teller and Triple R Rated. And they're rough and racing in the fifth. Breaking on top for the lead between horses. There goes Old Timer's Day showing some early speed. He's quickly going to be joined in between horses by Pemaquid Pete. And up the rail, there goes Apache Brave after the lead. Back and forth on the move is Watch the Dip. And then we drop back two more lengths to Dixie Highway, joined by Mr. Magico to the outside. Another two to another softball. And about five to Mr. Magico. Quarter win at 21-4. They're flying on the front end. Apache Brave has got a short lead. Pemaquid Pete right there. Ronald Allen Jr. putting pressure on the leader. Looming on the outside. Watch the dip is third. Back up the rail comes Dixie Highway. Then total distraction alongside. Racing in the sixth position. As they make that turn for home, there goes Old Timer's Day up the stick ahead in front. Coming right back on the inside. Apache Brave. These two headed for home together. Sneaking up the rail. Here comes Dixie Highway looking for pavement on the inside to come up to take the lead on the far outside. Watch the dip in with a chance. It's Dixie Highway. Watch the dip on the outside. Coming after him, Dixie Highway, Scott Spieth with the lead. Far outside, coming late, another softball, but it's Dixie Highway for the win. Second best, watch the dip over another softball. Up for fourth was total distraction. They're in the gate, and they're up and racing. Hustling out for the lead, there goes Cuz, showing the best early speed. Right behind him comes Heat of the Night. General on a mission down along the inside, moving through, now takes third join the pack and then we drop back another two lengths towards the inside to my pal Dow splitting horses and on the move there goes declared at the back of the pack early are going to be better tap it and ta trap the dream quarter went a slow pace 25 and two fifth seconds and your leader is intentional walk Mario Pino out there on the lead by a length and a half sitting in second is the favorite heat of the night then down towards the inside in third cuz is on the move joined on the far outside by king of the ring then two more lengths back on the inside to General on a mission who matched stride on the outside with my pal Dal. And moving up on the far outside, trapped the dream. They went the half in 49 and four fifth seconds. It's still intentional walk. Mario Pino with the lead right alongside. Heat of the night putting pressure on the leader. Up the rail, Cuz and Jermaine Bridgemohan now in the thick of things. Just three lengths from the lead. Now splitting horses. Here comes Declared with a move. He splits horses and is moving up into fourth. Also on the move because my pal Dow splitting that same path up into fourth. They dash for home. It's going to be intentional walk and heat of the night. These two stride for stride as they head for home moving up on the inside here comes cuz with a late bid it's still intentional walk with the lead cuz trying to get to him chuck up win number six thousand nine hundred and ninety four down and six to go for mario pino mr seven thousand he's the magic man back in second was cuz and it's tight for the rest look like my pal dal Gets the honor of loading last. And they're off and racing in the seventh at Presque Isle Downs. Looking for the lead from the inside. As expected, straight out of Dutton goes straight to the lead. Alongside second, that is let peace prevail to press the pace. Up on the outside into third comes Orb of the Borough. Then between horses, the favorite Heather Gold is up into fourth and on the move. Outside is going to be, I'm taking it to the bank, Golovkin down along the inside. And then a big gap back to Quartermaster and Tempest, the trailer is Tempest. The opening quarter goes in 21 and 2 fifth seconds and straight out of Dutton. Mike Allen says, catch me if you can. Opens up by four. On the outside, Orb of the Borough is there. 
hanging tough. Let Peace Prevail is sitting in second. And then on the outside, Heather's Gold starting to move up and coming late. And further out, that is I'm taking it to the bank. It's still straight out of Dutton. Mike Allen, the one to catch, has got the lead by two. Down the center, here comes Orb of the Burrow trying to run down late. Up on the rail, let Peace Prevail try to hang tough for a share. Here comes Heather's Gold flying down the center. And further out, Tempest is full of run. It's still straight out of Dutton. Tempest going to go right on by and get the win at 6-1. to one. Back in second, late run from Heather's Gold, hanging on for third, Good Lovkin, and it'll be tight for fourth. 8-5 to five favorite is the three, Bourbon Brown. 2-1, to one, second choice, the six, Mac 90. And they're off and racing in the eighth on the card. Rushing out for the lead in between horses, there goes Haysat showing early speed. Down on the inside, moving up the challenge, here comes Bourbon Brown after the leader. And we drop back another three lengths to Mac 90 sitting in third. He's going to be joined up the rail by Save the Land. Mario Pino moving up and on the move. Then on the far outside, dropping back into fifth, is Rote in Stone. A gap of three or four more lengths. Mac 2, Lord Byron. And then at the back of the pack, moving up on the far outside, second, Encore. Last of all, behind that group is going to be Silver Dollar City. Opening quarter, 21 and 4, and it is Hey Satch, Willie Martinez, out there on the lead by about three lengths, holding the advantage. Down the center of the track, here comes a late bid from Mac 90. Down on the inside, trying to stick with them, is going to be Silver Dollar City, who's come alive and coming up the inside. It's Hey Satch and Silver Dollar City, Aaron Walker, sneaking up the rail and going on to victory. Late charge from Mac 90. Made it very close in the end. Silver Dollar City or Mac 90, a photo that could go either way. Mac in third, second on core. Winning time, 111, flat 